Today I'm going to show you how to uh, install a Game Boy Advance emulator, install ROMs and your GBA BIOS file, and uh, play Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Color games. First of all, you're going to need to have OpenSSH installed from the City Application Store. I will be making a video later about SSH connections. And you're going to need to install an application called GPS Phone. To find GPS Phone in the City Application Store, you're going to have to hit search, and you can go ahead and start typing GPS Phone. It should be your first option here, so you're going to need to uh, go ahead and tap that, and click install in the type right corner. I already have it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the home key on the springboard, and uh, you will see that it installs right here with a Game Boy Advance icon. Once you have done that, you can go ahead and go over to your computer and start an SSH connection. Once you've installed GPS phone onto your iPod or iPod Touch, you're going to need to open up an SSH connection. When you first open up an SSH connection on Mac OS X with an application called CyberDuck, you're uh, going to be in a directory called Private Variable Root. You're going to have to go ahead and click the back key, and then you should be in Private Variable. Scroll down and find a folder called Stash. Double click on that. Double click on a folder called Applications in Stash. And then you will find a folder called gpsphone.app. Um, you're going to need a GBA BIOS.ROM file, which you can Google search, um, and you will be able to find plenty of links to download. And you're going to need to drag and drop that into the gpsphone.app. Once you have dragged and dropped it, go ahead and uh, open up your GPS phone app folder and find your BIOS. Mine's right here. Go ahead and control click, hold down control click, and uh, click on info. You're going to need to change the permissions to 755. Down here, on the bottom where it says permissions, go ahead and highlight everything for read. Only owners can write and for execute uh, check everything and go ahead and hit apply. Then you can close this, hit your back key, hit your back key one more time, hit it again and you're back in private variable. When you're in private variable go ahead and double click on a folder called mobile double click on a folder called or double click on a folder called media and you should find a folder called roms open roms and there will be a folder called gba open gba and uh, there's a text file telling you to place your gba roms in this folder i have a pokemon sapphire rom it's a pokemon sapphire.gba file you can go ahead and google uh, game ROMs that you'd like to download. I'm not going to be telling you where to get those. Once the transfer is complete, you will see your Pokemon or whatever ROM you have placed in uh, the folder. You're, you're now done with your SSH connection and you can go ahead and click disconnect. Once you've installed your GBA BIOS and your uh, ROM, go ahead and open up GPS Phone. And here you've got uh, a list of all the ROMs you've got installed. Pokemon Sapphire. When you click your ROM, it asks if you want portrait and sound, portrait and no sound, landscape and sound, and landscape and no sound. I'm going to go with portrait and no sound. It uh, loads the game and you can go ahead and start playing.